I'm Carlady Lisa with Achilles Mazda and today we're going to take a look at the exterior of the 2016 CX-9. Now you're in luck because I even have the previous generation right beside it. So I'm going to do a nice little voiceover for you so you get a better quality video. There's lots of wind here. So we're going to do a great video so you can really check out how awesome this car has gotten. Already an awesome car? Even better now. So let's get started and give you an exterior tour of that 2016 CX-9. The overall size of the CX-9 remains the same. From these two vehicles sitting side by side, we can easily see how Mazda has cleaned up the lines to bring their Kudu Soul of Motion styling into this seven-seater family mover. More pronounced grille and a better integration of lights seem to enhance the aggressive stance of this full-size SUV. Compared to its predecessor, you can see it is much more aggressive looking. They kept the important touches that bring elegance to this class of vehicle with uh, even more chrome accents. I'm really impressed with how the lines flow with every angle of this car. The concealed fog lights generate more interest in the grille instead of competing with it. It's just such an improvement on what was already a great car. Taking something into the 21st century. Do we still use that term? I hope so. <laughs> So you can see some of those chrome components are still uh, standing true. And then they added um, just that better integration even of the tail lights in the rear. It just generates uh, just a more interesting flow around the body of the car. And the lines are so clean where everything connects. It's just amazing. Mazda's always done a great dual exhaust, which has remained consistent in this vehicle. Amazing. Sizing and capacities are relatively the same. Not much has changed because you still need lots of room for those seven seats. And as we go around, you can see how those high luster wheels really stand out on this black. And this is what I mean, headlight integration. See where the hood line kind of goes in with the lights? It's amazing. And see, so you wouldn't think there's a fog light there. But it's just tucked away. And very nice finish to those wheels. And this is only the GSL. It's only going to get better from here. New LED turn signal. Again, just kind of very slick looking. Almost like it's not even there, but it's there. Advanced key system, always a great thing to have. Keep it in your pocket. You can get in the door, no problem. Sky Active Technology. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But right now, I want to talk about the all-wheel drive system. So the all-wheel drive system on these two cars is not created equal. The new one has this uh, iActive all-wheel drive system. If uh, you go on the Maz.ca website, I believe they have a whole page, a write-up on it. But what it does is it has a computer that analyzes hundreds of scenarios. No scenarios hundreds of times 200 times per second it'll check and see if uh, your steering wheel is turned if you're on an incline are your wipers on what temperature is it out there so a whole bunch of scenarios to predict when you're going to need that extra power to the rear it's quite an amazing system that it it works even before you know you need it it doesn't wait for tire slippage to kick in it's a great all-wheel drive system and it helps with fuel economy by being not all the time all-wheel drive.
Now the Parrot Power Tailgate was available in the uh, CX-9 and that one over there is a GT model, the silver one. So it's not really an equivalent model but it's as close as I have. But you can see that the speed of each tailgate is much improved, like the new one goes down up and down much quicker. It is also height adjustable if you want to adjust how tall it goes or how short it goes. You can actually set it which is really cool. Engine stuff. This is one of many very important components in this vehicle. So this is the old V6 engine. So even compared to other models in this class with a V6, this engine is very nicely laid out. Um, there's actually a lot of room to work around it. If you look in, under the hood of this type of car, a lot of the times they cram the V6 in there and there's not a whole lot of space to work on the car. This is why Japanese engineering is important, especially Mazda's, because they, they think about the long term. So the new engine is a 2.5 liter turbo. Now I know a lot of you are like, oh no, turbo. Turbo, this turbo is amazing. The Skyactiv turbo is a two-stage turbo that reduces turbo lag significantly because it always lets a little bit of air into the turbo. It is wild to drive. It's so amazing. This engine is up to 30% more efficient than the outgoing model and puts out the power of a 4 liter V8 engine. It's insane. So we're talking um, going from 270 pounds of torque at 4250 RPM to 310 pounds of torque at 2000 RPM. So you're going to get all your power to get going at a very early time frame, making it so enjoyable to drive. And it achieves best in class fuel economy. Now I haven't even touched the um, Skyactiv chassis or other components of this vehicle. I will do that in another video for you. I have a special little note about this car that I missed on uh, the interior overview tour uh, that's really important. I had a gentleman who was like 6263 come in the other day and he tried on both the 15 and the 16 CX-9 and surprisingly he did not fit in the 15. He didn't have like any headroom. It was wild. But when he tried on the 16, he fit very comfortably and had more than enough. Like, check out all this space, right? So, I would like to um, send this public service announcement to all you tall folks out there. Give the 2016 CX-9 a try because this time around you're going to fit and you're going to love Lisa it. I'm Carly Lisa with Achilles Mazda. Thank you so much for watching.